Hey, Haig. Um, your last question about does genocide beget genocide? I, um, you know, the gut reaction would be, yeah, revenge and things like that. But I think when you look at, well, the topics you just, you know, had asked about, um, reconciliation, uh, reparation, and recognition. When, when a, a country is intentional about those three things, I think that that process, which each of those, those three things represents, could be um, quite a, a potential safeguard against genocide because people have looked at it so much more uh, intentionally and so much deeper and they've journeyed with the challenges of it and um, so on that from that perspective I would say um, does genocide beget genocide depends how you respond afterwards and if you are responding with very strong intentional programs of reconciliation reparation and recognition I would say no um, another kind of just a um, an observation from my time with Rwanda is that the people who suffered during the genocide, many at least of the ones I talked to, were not about revenge. They were, they were about enough blood has been spilled. Um, a young man I talked to, I'd say he was a teenager, a teenage survivor of the genocide, and a year after the genocide, they were actually having some executions uh, public executions of people who committed genocide. And he told me that he had taken a young nephew, I guess, or a young cousin who had survived with him to the football stadium to witness these executions. And um, he felt like this was important, you know, and take my young cousin with me. But he says as he got there and he watched, there were four people, four people that were getting, um, that were being executed. They had four posts buried in the ground in the middle of the soccer field. Um, they came out with a pickup truck with these four people with black cover over their head. They quickly took them, each one, to a separate pole, tied them, and then a soldier was assigned to each one, shot them as the body slumped. I believe he said an officer went with a pistol and shot in the head of each one of them. And... Um, he told me that as he saw the blood beginning to pool in the ground underneath them, this terrible feeling came over him, and he felt like, I need to get my little cousin out of here. This That blood represented a common humanity, he said to him, and um, realized this is not the pathway at all. Having said that, I have heard from, more from local people, uh, survivors, talking about Rwandans who came back who were outside of the country at the time of the genocide, and they came back in, seeming to sense more of a sense of revenge for those who did not actually witness the genocide, but came back and found so many of their family members needlessly slaughtered. And so um, I found that it was interesting, those who were there and witnessed it much less inclined to shed blood, those who were not there and witnessed it with their anger and and deep sorrow, the sense of revenge seemed to come, seemed to be closer to the surface. Yeah, thanks.